This is News Nation Prime. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rudabay Shabazi. Tonight, the nationwide manhunt continues for an escaped Alabama inmate and the corrections officer who helped him. Law enforcement looking for 38 year old Casey White and 56 year old Vicki White. Today, investigators released new video of Vicki in a hotel the night before she fled. The pair has been seen, has been on the run now for more than a week, and they could be anywhere. The authorities found their getaway car in Tennessee. Still, so many questions tonight. News Nation correspondent Tom Dempsey is following this bizarre story. And Tom, there are a lot of layers in this case. Yeah, absolutely, Ruta Bay. With this manhunt now stretching on for over a week, police want the public to take a good look at new pictures and videos of these two in hopes the smallest lead can lead to their captures. We wish we had a lot more progress. Um, you know, it's been a week. With a manhunt to find capital murder suspect Casey White and now former corrections officer Vicki White continuing. On Saturday, investigators asked for the public's help finding the two. This newly released video shows Officer White at a hotel the morning she later helped the inmate facing capital murder charges escape from the Lauderdale County Detention Center in Alabama. No one has seen the two in person since. Now, police want you to see renderings like these showing what Officer White could look like with different hair thinking she may change her appearance. All this comes after police found a getaway car used by the two at a tow lot 100 miles away in Tennessee on Friday, a week after it got found in the woods with no ID tags. We're assuming where it was abandoned, uh, and it was abandoned so quickly that they probably had mechanical problems with it. Inmates at the detention center told investigators about a special relationship between the officer and suspect, with many wondering why the longtime corrections worker helped Casey White escape. Toby Dorr may know a thing or two after she did the very same thing in Kansas in 2006. All it takes is for that one officer or volunteer to just be a little bit nicer at one moment to an inmate. And you know, things just take off from there. Door helped a man convicted of a deadly carjacking escape from a prison in a dog crate after falling in love with him. She says the 12 days they spent on the run led to all sorts of paranoia. You're always just looking over your shoulder and you're expecting something to happen any minute. So you're on edge all the time. With the search still on for both Vicki White and Casey White, investigators hope the manhunt comes to a peaceful end and soon. We just have to work with what we got. Uh, we're still depending on leads from the public tips. And regarding that abandoned car, it still remains unknown if the two went on to steal another car or hitch a ride with somebody else or simply run away. But again, the search continues for the two tonight. All right, Tom Dempsey for us. Thank you. And and while this manhunt continues, it sounds like anyone who comes across them should really be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Again, uh, this officer, this former corrections officer, actually had a gun on her at, during the time that they escaped. So again, police are considering this suspect to be armed and dangerous as this search continues. And especially Everybody? given his violent history. Tom, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.